Hello guys, this is Edward from Twist Performance and today in this video I gonna start commenting my work about LED builds and explain to you how you can design first and bring to life after some cool electronic projects for your car. I really hope this will help you to understand how LED lights works and how to make it yourself. You will need some basic electronics knowledge, but I hope this will be not hard for you. This project was inspired by a very cool visualization by YouTuber Hikade, and today we are gonna build better front churn sequential blinkers for Nissan Skyline with day running light function from his visual demo. You can check link in description to see the full visualization and how it performs. Every project starts from principal electronic schematic of future device, so we will move in this direction. So, let's begin. I will use Kikad software for this. The starting point is your power inputs. We will have common ground point and two separate inputs, one for turn signal and one for day running light function. To protect our schematic from accidental power wire swap, we will place two diode bridges on each input. And we will name it turn signal power and day running light power. First, we will go with sequential blink. The HC164 is the chip that we will use here. This is digital counter that will enable one of its 8 output channels on every input signal tick. But we need something to generate these ticks with decent amount of time. This is the part where LM555 chip steps into our game. It can be configured with external resistors and capacitors to generate ticks every 15 milliseconds, so this is exactly what we want. Configuration is relatively easy. Time between ticks regulated by voltage level on the capacitor, and this voltage rise time change time between ticks. The faster capacitor will charge, the faster ticks will be. So you can regulate this in two ways. Change resistor to discharge capacitor faster or change capacitor to get bigger or smaller amount of charge before the voltage level will be reached. LED light chips consume some power, but digital counter chip is not strong enough to hold all the current that will go through the LEDs. So we need some kind of buffer between LEDs and counter IC to enable channels and hold current well. We will use Toshiba Darlington Array as this buffer. Our digital counter chip needs to start with low voltage level on reset pin, but after startup it must be rise to the high level, so we will add capacitor to this pin and tie it to the power source. Sequential turn blinker is mostly finished. Based on your schematics, you must remember that any element have its own voltage drop and LEDs in series will fall if remain voltage is less than LED series forward voltage. As a result, light output will not be as bright as you wanted. So we will put step up voltage converter and connect it to the Darlington array to get rid of this problem. Time for day running lights. Let's think a little about it. We have around a half of second between turn signal blinks, and all this time day running lights must be turned off to let turn signal be seen. So we need a way to enable our day running lights after one second of turn light inactivity and disable it on first run of signal blink. This is where operational amplifier come to play. This device can switch its out from low level to high based on voltage settings provided by external resistor voltage divider. And we can regulate the running light startup delay time with capacitor and limiting resistor connected to the op-amp test pin. So limited by resistor, our capacitor will charge for some time, and all this time voltage on test pin of operational amplifier will be lower than limit. Once limit will be reached, all pump will switch its output and day running light will start to shine. Our operational amplifier must be resetable, so we will place some transistors and MOSFETs to rule this. Idea behind is very simple. 
One stone blinker will be turned on. PNP transistor will be opened too and capacitor of operational amplifier will be connected to the ground and will discharge to the ground quickly. One stone blinker will be turned off, transistor will be closed too and capacitor will start to charge. But time delay to charge capacitor in our case is bigger compared to the turn signal blinks delay. So capacitor will be constantly discharged to the ground on every blink and day running light will not work at this time. Now we will move our idea from simulation software to the actual schematic in the keycard. General schematic is done, so now we need to place the LEDs and move to the PCB design. I need to strip front glass from blinker case to reveal plastic case internals. Next step is to make cardboard template and make a photo of this template on the sheet of paper. Import photo to your favorite card and make a digital contour of image. This will be your board outline. Also, make a quick model of your LED chip and place it on the template to figure out how many and what type of LEDs you will need. We will go with three lines of turn signal blinker and two lines of day running light on the board, just like in our inspirational video. Now we know how many LEDs we need and we can finish our schematics and move to the board routing and design. Once you finish your design, export Gerber files and place an order to your preferred PCB maker. After that, wait for 1-2 weeks to get the boards manufactured. Once boards will be delivered, you can start assembly. Place some soldering pasta on the LED pads and place LEDs in place. After that, you can solder it. Flip your board upside down and place all support components from design. As you remember, we are doing better blinker than anything available on the market, so our day running light must look like uniform strip of light. We are gonna diffuse it with acrylics and we need to design this diffuser first. Find some sheets of black, transparent and milk acrylics and cut needed parts on the laser cutter. Glue a different plastic parts together and check how your diffuser looks like on the top of PCB.
Perform all assembly steps for second board and diffuser. Now we need to make custom glass for our turn signals. Mount the boards inside the cases first. We're gonna thermoform clear glasses from raw plastic sheet using our diffusers as molding form. Cut out result glasses from plastic, cover board of glass with black primer and place it on top of diffuser to close our assembly. And finally you can enjoy your results. Next thing is to put the slides on a car and connect everything to see it in action. Please like, share and comment if you want more videos like this. And thank you for watching.